everybody Ann here, sitting outside, having my coffee with all of you. I've been up since, oh, about 4.30 a.m. I figured I gotta get stuff done, I gotta get going early before it gets hot, because once it gets hot, I'm done. Um, so, well, there is some weird stuff going on with Miss Purse Fancy Pants. She is either sick or she's going broody again. I let the chickens free range yesterday and she didn't even want to go out. She just wanted to stay in the yard and Romeo was beside himself. All the chickens had taken off and he came all the way back and was trying to get Miss Pris to go out and he was just pacing and everything. She finally did go out but then she came back in and since last night she's been sitting on that nest. She got out briefly today to go get something to eat and drink and yep the broody poops are coming back. But as far as I know she's still sitting on those eggs. I gotta figure this out. Yep, she's still sitting on the nest. I know that the other chickens have hopped in with her. I don't know what she's got underneath of her, but she's got that weird trance-like stare. She's got that little panty weirdness going on, and it's just like she's on high alert. So, you know what? I am going to move this nesting box to the back. I'm not going to block it off. If she's going broody, I'm going to put a bunch of brown eggs underneath of her, and... I'm gonna mark them and I'm not I'm not hatching out any more white chicks I likely just put the filing cabinet back over here and just leave this open I'm not gonna I am not gonna cordon it off put netting up or anything I just want to see if she is able to do this on her own and maybe she'll stay with the chicks longer if she is broody um, if she's still sitting on that nest by tonight then I'm going to assume she's broody. Move the file cabinet over here and just let nature take its course. Why am I not going to hatch out any more white eggs? Because these leghorns are evil. I am going to separate the leghorn chickens from the rest of the flock. They have been just like holy terrors lately. Now look at this one. This is one of the baby chicks. Look at the color on those legs. Look at that. Can you see? They're kind of like an olive color. They certainly aren't leghorn orange legs. Look at those legs. They're like olive colored. All right, that's your name, Olive. Weird looking chicken. Anyhow, this part of the yard is going to become Chateau La Leghorn. <laughs> because, yeah, and I'm gonna give them their own rooster. All of the white chicks are gonna be in a coop of some kind back here. I want the coop up off the ground. I want it to be able to be closed in and all that. So I don't know. I got to figure this out. <sighs> I also had to go do some stuff with the composting heap. I had to add, um, empty another bucket so I can clean it out and uh, use it because the inside bucket is full. <sighs> That's my least favorite job on this homestead, but it's not that big of a deal. So I've already done that. I have kind of missed the boat on the trees. It's already starting to heat up here and it is like, it's not even 8 a.m. yet. It's not even 8 a.m. yet and it's already starting to get hot. And they say you're not supposed to spray those trees down. What's the matter, Bubba? You're not supposed to spray those trees down when it's blazing hot. So I gotta get that done though. And I think that I am gonna take that cedar tree that I planted down from the front of the road. I was gonna put a whole row of them and I can't do it now because I've got apple trees and you know, they don't mix, so I don't have any other cedar trees really super close. Well, yes I do. Mr. Lucas across the street. Yep, I do. He's got a bunch of cedar trees, but that's okay. I've got the stuff I can treat it with. <sighs> but yeah, those leghorns, they're evil. Mm. Looks like it's gone. I don't know what it was. Could have been a booger. That's gross, but no, after I said all of that stuff, there's no way I'm going to say it again, so... My apologies. I know it was gross. Have them schmung on my face like I always do. It's on my nose. It's on my face. It's everywhere. So I have an awful lot to do today. Um, oh gosh, I need to go into Tractor Supply Company too. And I wanted to bring the refrigerator. I'm thinking of bringing the refrigerator back inside because it actually runs better off of this battery bank. I need to move some stuff around in the van if Miss Pris is going broody again. Oh my gosh, what am I going to get done? It's almost 1 p.m. and she is still sitting on the nest. So, yep, I gotta get this area ready. I'm gonna get the file cabinet over here again somehow, some way. And, um, I may turn it on its side, I'm not sure. But, I'm gonna rake all of this old bedding this way. And put new bedding all the way back here. And get it ready for some new baby chicks. Look at this, you guys. I'm in here 
working on this area, cleaning everything out. I just lifted her off and she's not moving. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine eggs. I've marked them. All right, girlfriend, let's see what you can do. Okay, Miss Pris. Good luck, girlfriend. I got everything set up. Clean bedding back here. A uh, little dust bath. New nesting boxes so maybe the other chickens won't try and crowd you out. I brought you food and water in here. And fresh bedding and three nesting boxes so hopefully they won't bug you. Phew. This was hard. But it's done. Yep, I got the fans on. Phew, it is hot. I think it's about 88 degrees. And it was hot working in that fan. But I had to do it, you know. Um... And, oh, and I think, I'm pretty sure I don't have any schmung on my face this time. Nah, I'm good. Anyhow, my face is all red. Sorry. I'm just going to let kind of nature take its course. I'm going to be more hands-off this time. I'm not going to keep her separate. I think she just got a little crazy just having to be in there. If she wants to come out in the yard and get back in on her eggs, that's fine. If she gets up off those eggs and decides she doesn't want to go the 21 days, then that's okay, too. I have plenty of eggs. I'll just get rid of those eggs or... Keep the eggshells at least and just let her do her thing and see if it works i can't believe that she's doing this again i just hope that this is what it is and she's not sick but she's acting exactly like she was when she went broody the last time so 20 days from now because you're seeing this the day after i filmed it um yesterday's day one Maybe we'll have nine new baby chicks. I don't know. It's going to be fun seeing if she kicks out any of those eggs or if she cracks any of them and just tosses them out. She might. I don't know. <sighs> I'm just going to sit here and relax for a little bit, drink something cold, and then update you in a little while or this evening or whatever. <laughs> I went and harvested a bunch of honeysuckle, and there's so much more left out there. So, yeah, I got to process these little bunches. I'm going to take the leaves off and do whatever I got to do to make them ready for, I think I'm going to try making the syrup first, but I wish you guys could smell these. Oh, they smell heavenly, and I've got so much more out there. There is an abundance of honeysuckle out here, and on Mr. Lucas' property too, so this is going to be one thing I'm going to get done. All done. Separated the flowers from the leaves. I was going to feed the leaves to the chickens, but I've read some information that maybe that's not such a good idea. So before I do that, I'm going to research more. For this recipe, I'm using two cups sugar, two cups water, and a big mounded cup packed down of honeysuckle flowers. Put your water in the pot. Then add your sugar. Then the honeysuckle flowers. Stir it up really nice and bring it to just a low boil over medium heat. Let it boil for about five minutes, then turn the heat off, and then you're going to let it sit for about an hour, and then let it cool completely before you start straining it. Then just strain it over one of these little thingies, whatever you got. Look it, look it, it's all done. Let it cool. Here it is, you guys, the finished product. I am going to open this up and taste it and see what it's like. Okay, let's see if I can do this without spilling. And it does. That is some delicious stuff. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. Mm. I can make lemonade out of this. I could put it over ice cream. Um, I don't know. I'm sure there's lots of different things I can do with it. Make some tea. Oh, yeah, it's... It's sweet, but that honeysuckle flavor, oh, it comes through so well. I hope you guys try this. Hmm, I wonder if I can make wine out of this. <gasps> I wonder if I can make wine out of this. Maybe not this, but with a proper kind of amount of water and sugar and yeast, I think I can make some honeysuckle wine. Maybe that's next. I brought Miss Pris in a little plate of greens and some grit. And some eggs. And she's been taking a few bites of it. Yep. It's, uh, I don't know, close to 4 o'clock and she's still sitting in here on these eggs. So you enjoy that, Miss Pris. Yeah, she needs to get a little something to eat. Hopefully she will drink water because it's kind of warm in here. I was thinking of setting up a fan. There you go. I'll come back and get that out for you in a little bit. It's hot, you guys, so I'm going to go into town, get some ice, yeah, ice for tonight, and just relax for the rest of the day. 
man, I did get a lot done. I didn't film everything, but you know what? You don't want to see me emptying a composting toilet and doing stuff with my composting pile. That first, the first one that I started last year that I haven't been adding to, oh man, that stuff down in there looks so good. I can't wait to use it. Not this year. I think I'm going to wait another year. Anyhow, whew, I'm tired. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.